Hello, and welcome to How to Pin a Fly for the Nebraska 4-H program. We're going to learn how to pin a fly today. Begin by inserting the pin according to the diagram into the thorax of the fly. Once the pin is inserted, make sure that you have the fly level and balanced well on the pin before pushing it all the way through. Use your styrofoam to push the fly up onto the pin and then use your pinning block to make sure that it is at the proper height on the pin. In Nebraska, we look for 3 eighths of an inch to 1 half of an inch in height from the top of the pin. The next step will be to position the legs, the wings, and other parts of the insect's body in such a manner that it looks lifelike and all the various characters of the legs, wings, and body would be easily observed when trying to identify this particular insect to any particular taxonomic level. Sometimes you may need to use pins to hold the body in place to keep it from rotating on the pin and to keep those legs where you position them. The claws on the end of the leg will often work to your advantage and hold the legs where you position them on the styrofoam. Occasionally you may have a leg that is difficult to hold in place with just the styrofoam and you may need to wedge it into place using pins. Make any final adjustments to the legs, wings, head, or any other part of the insect before allowing it to dry.